Hey everyone, we are bringing back Chris for topic number two, and I wanted to ask questions about Southern California real estate. How you doing, Chris? Hi, Mike. I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing wonderful, man. I've been looking forward to this interview for a week now because I get to ask you questions about SoCal. All right, I get asked all the time, right? Hey, Michael, you're in California. What do you know about LA? I'm like, nothing. California is a big state. I know nothing about Southern California. So if you were to summarize how, how Southern California ended, so let's talk about how it wrapped up 2020. What would you say? Seller's market, buyer's market, prices increasing, low inventory. What would be kind of your summary of SoCal? And if you want to put caveats around it, go for it, like Ventura or Orange County or whatever. Whatever you want to say, what would you tell us about SoCal real estate? Yeah, SoCal real estate, it's definitely a seller's market. There are not enough homes on the market. I don't know what's happening if people are just holding on to them tightly because of the coronavirus, but there's just not that many homes on the market. We put something up, it's selling immediately. They're at record prices. New record prices are being hit almost every day. It feels like these homes are appreciating really fast. It, almost 10% a year right now, it feels like. Wow. I don't know the exact number, but it is extraordinary how much it's going up right now. That's interesting because I talked to Brian Lebo, who happens to be a Vegas real estate agent or broker. I think he's a broker. I don't know. Real estate agent or broker. Very, very nice guy. I love speaking with him once a, once a month on, on uh, Vegas. And he's telling me, everybody's leaving LA and somebody should turn the lights out. So I guess I'm confused, right? And of course I'm being facetious, but I, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to have fun. So again, he's telling me SoCal investor or SoCal owners are selling in, in LA and moving to Vegas record numbers. Um, I mean, have you seen any of that or is it just such a small number it doesn't move the needle in, in LA? Yeah, I would say a lot of people are moving out, but there's still a lot of people who are buying. I know a lot of people say California is too expensive, whatever it may be. I know a lot of people who are buying homes to people that are working, that are making quite a bit of money, a lot of money, like one hundred and fifty dollars to $200,000 a year. Yeah. And then buying a $600,000 house isn't a problem. So we're seeing those homes from five seventy five dollars to six fifty dollars are flying off the market. They're not in that great of condition, but they're flying off the market really fast and there's just not enough of them. So that's why they're Prices are skyrocketing because of so what I heard you say without saying it is the hottest part of the market is that first time home buyer is what I think you just said. Yeah. And what we have is a lot of first time home buyers coming in with low down payments, buying things they can afford the payment, but they don't have quite that 20% down just because the market's so expensive here. Oh, so they're coming in with FHA financing three and a half percent, five percent, something like that. Yeah, most of the time. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see how this unravels in LA. Because again, if appreciation keeps happening and there's no supply, they'll be okay. But if SoCal kind of hits that inflection point, interest rates rise and buyers back away, prices could fall. I mean, I've been investing in California for 20 years and it doesn't always go up. So these, these I don't know if they're high risk. I don't know if that's fair, but we've got to definitely watch out, right? If there's a predominant of people buying 600k houses with you know five percent down that's 30 grand right i'm just trying to do the numbers in my head that's easy to lose i mean that's i mean you you lose that in selling costs right so there's no equity generation so again this is these are things we're going to have to watch in california i think um if that's what's really going on yeah definitely and on top of that like you mentioned a lot of people are moving out of the state it's happening a lot i don't think it's as fair to say that people are flooding like people think there's still a lot of people here could that happen in the future where it's a mass flood we're seeing a huge decline in population yeah recently we did see that california is expected to lose an electoral vote they're losing population but it's sure. not as bad yet as people make it sound well I, you know I, i'm going to push back on that because i think it is as bad but it's not bad for what most people are saying most people are talking about the the population that's leaving like the sheer number I actually think you need to think about the wealth that's leaving. For example, Graham Stephan, right? Graham Stephan counts as one person, but dude, with him leaving, you know, he's probably taken $300,000 in tax revenue away. So I think the wealthy are disproportionately leaving. Are you, are you seeing that? Yeah, I'm seeing that. A lot of them are moving to Las Vegas. That, that market right now is exploding. The luxury market, at least, not so much the lower one, a million and up, that market is... Yeah, and that's exactly what Brian Lebo is telling me. He's telling me goddamn California investors are coming in, or not investors, I got to back up. California buyers, owners are coming in like Graham. And you know, you're, 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 you guys are buying everything above a million bucks. It's like, it's like candy or Skittles to you guys. 
um, because again, they're coming in, they're, they're selling something here in California, a bunch of equity. They have the income, they can work from home. And they're like, shoot, you guys don't understand. I'm going to save 13% in state income tax. That, that'll fund a hell of a mortgage payment. You know, uh, that's what people are saying. So, uh, so again, I guess, it, is there any part of Southern California that's either red, like noticeably hotter than anything else? Or is there a part of SoCal that's noticeably cooler than everything else? Or is it all equal? Uh, I would say if you start going out to like Riverside County, uh, San Bernardino County, they're starting to build a lot more out there. Those properties aren't quite as expensive as LA. People are trying to get out of the crowded LA area. Would you call There's that the Inland places. Empire? Would that be was that is that what that's called? Can you repeat that? Is that the Inland Empire? Is that what people call San Bernardino? Yeah, that's, okay, that's commonly it's referred to as that. All right, I just want to make sure. So again, so that's that's basically you're going 50 miles or so from the coast, right? You're going inland. Yeah, and some of these cities like um, Eastvale, Marietta, cities out that way, some of them aren't too far from the beach, but they're, they're exploding. People are building a lot of property out there. It's it's a growing market. Um, if you go out to San Bernardino, there's a lot of investors who will buy out there for Section 8 homes, and they're getting guaranteed rent. The rental numbers make sense. They're able to buy multifamily units. That's not quite that same area, but it's going out that way. Yeah. And just so if you don't know, it's okay. But what, what do you think they're selling new homes for out there? Like 350, 400? What do you think? Um, new homes, generally 450 to 550. Okay, 450, 550. Okay, that's cool. And then is it fair to say like the hottest markets are still Orange County? Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Is Orange County still red hot? Or what? what's the hottest market, if you were to say, in SoCal? Orange County is always hot. Um, I would even, you know, looking at Santa Clarita Valley, it's pretty hot. Okay. Um, see, you know, I, my Simi Valley area is really hot. A lot of Ventura County people are moving out of LA. My city alone is just literally right at the door of going into LA and people are moving out of LA and moving into my city like crazy. It's really hot. You have a lot of buyers coming from that is very like interesting. LA. That's what we're seeing in San Francisco as well. Now San Francisco's, uh, square, it's, it's very small compared to LA. I think LA is like 380 square miles while San Francisco is like 41 square miles. So it's like 10 X, but to hear that even in LA, right, the urban flight is real. That's, that's a big deal. I don't know what, I don't know what the population is in LA city, but it's, it's gotta be 10 million or something. It's gotta be just a gigantic number. So to see, to see that population, I mean, that's enough to move markets, right? That's why Brian Lebo tells me, damn, California investors are buying the million dollar homes. That's why you're seeing the urban flight. Um, I'm guessing the thing that I think is happening is twofold. I'd love to hear about LA. One is a lot of those people that are probably doing those three and a half or 5% downs, they were probably renters in LA city, right? They were class A renters. They shut down the gyms. They shut down the pool. They can't use those amenities. They're tired of working from home in a two bedroom apartment. So like, screw it, we're going to go buy a home. Is that happening? Yeah, that's definitely happening. It's, you know, with LA, they're a lot stricter than my county is with the shutdowns and everything. We're all still closed down, but LA is a lot stricter than Ventura County and even Orange County. All right. And then the other thing that I think is happening is I guessing the first time buyers are skewing younger. So I think the millennial buyers are going to be a big deal for the next decade. Are you seeing that? Or are you seeing Generation X, you know, people over 40 buying? I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of both, but it's a lot of millennials, those 30 to 40 year olds that are buying a lot of their homes. first homes, right? Yeah. yeah, this is really fun. So it's really is the same market minus price points and interest rates. I think, I think our third conversation is going to be interesting because that's what we're going to talk about the future. So let's wrap this up. Uh, Chris, what's your YouTube channel so people can follow you? Um, my YouTube channel is just my name, Chris Butrell, and I'm talking about all things personal finance, real estate, stocks, everything. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, man.